Hello everyone and welcome to another royal reading and today we have the Wandering Star Tarot on the tarot table. There it is, Wandering Star Tarot, which I have renamed the Fading Star Tarot when I'm reading on the Harkles. And today we have another Fading Star reading, uh, which is about the surprise news that Harry and Meghan, who allegedly hate the UK so much and the British public and everything that being royal represents, are coming back in September, minus the kids, allegedly. They are coming back for a whirlwind tour and they are attending the One Young World Summit. That's Megan's gig, a uh, gig that she had before she was a royal. Uh, some people speculate that she could be paid quite a handsome appearance fee for that. Of course, speculation and of course, tarot reading for entertainment purposes. Disclaimer in the box below or my opinion, just for entertainment. Then they are uh, dashing across to Düsseldorf for the Invictus Games warm up one year ahead. And then they dash back, no caring about their carbon footprints. They dash back to the UK for the Well Child Awards, Harry's event. Last time we saw him in public at the Well Child Awards, of course, he had to hide what seemed to be unseemly laughter and pretend he was crying. And they allegedly last year paid for his trip back to the UK. So uh, lots to look at. This news broke literally a few hours after Neil Sean released a video stating that Meghan Markle was done with the UK and would never be seen again. She would never darken the doorstep of the UK ever again and nor would her children. And then lo and behold, Harkles are back. Um, it seems to be ironic and hypocritical given their security cases and claims against the UK government to announce their itinerary so publicly and uh, it seems that they really aren't that worried about their security in the UK when they release such information to the general public so well ahead that any crazy person from anywhere in the world could get on a plane and buy tickets to any of these events and do what happened to poor old some and Rushdie and I have to state right now I am not inciting anyone to violence I'm not encouraging anyone to do such a crazy thing I am purely stating what everybody is stating that they are exposing themselves to harm if they convince that they are at risk then this seems rather a foolhardy thing to do but of course things have been going badly for the Harkles back in the US after that debacle at the United Nations they don't seem to have anything like up in the US so they've got to make use of the gigs that they have back in the UK. Netflix needs content, they possibly need appearance fees allegedly and so they are back. They have gone full circle and back they come and uh, so we're going to do a Celtic cross, haven't done one for a while, going to look at what's going on, what challenges they're facing, what might they be their motive. Some people are saying this is despite Prince William, he will be in the US in September and so they might be trying to steal his thunder by showing up. What's going on? What is their focus? Is this all for Netflix? Is it for money? Um, tell us about that. Um, is it because they have lost so much um, power and status? in the United States that they're calling back. How will they be received? Last time they were in the UK, they were booed. Will they be booed again? Or will their PR people make sure that the seats are stacked full of well wishes or people pretending to be well wishes, applauding, applauding wildly when the Harkles give their keynote speeches so it looks good for Netflix? Is this what's going on? Uh, how they each feel individually about what this uh, entails and ultimately, is this the start of a return? half in half out thing for the Harkles that they are crawling back because things have gone so wrong I think we're ready after all that talking and shuffling uh, let's get on with the reading Wandering Star Tarot Celtic Cross and uh, see what the cards want to tell us about this unfortunate visit they will be staying allegedly down the road from Adelaide Cottage where the Cambridges are just busy settling in right about now apparently the kids about to start new schools uh, the Harkles have been sure to say that they will not be visiting the Cambridges but I'm sure the Cambridges have uh, changed the locks on the doors and perhaps um, uh, 
dug a moat or a ditch or put up some sort of palisades or something to keep them out. Ace of Wands, underlying energy. New start. This is desperate stuff. This is needing new energy, new impetus, new ideas, new creativity, new PR, a new show. They need all this injection of energy and uh, enthusiasm and acclaim and applause and all the rest of it. So this is a brave new start for the Harkles. How many new starts have there been? I have lost track. Um, somebody somewhere uh, listed Megan's accomplishments of the last few years and they were all quite hilarious. But uh, so a fresh new start, despite all those accomplishments that she has allegedly uh, achieved since she's been a royal. Uh, let's see. Situation, heart of the matter for the Harcourts, needing this ace of wands. Ooh, death, but death in reverse. They're stuck. They're stuck. It's a very pretty skulls. Um, crystal skull sort of looking uh, beginnings transformation you can see these cards very kindly and conveniently um, write on them what they're all about endings change begin again that's what the card is about when it's upright the death beginnings endings change transformation when it's in the reverse stuck stagnant energy not making the progress that they thought that they were going to make needing to change but not knowing how to change resisting change being obstinate um, about the things they need to let go of possibly even each other i will be doing a reading on the divorce rumors that are swirling around if i have time i'll do it today otherwise i'll do it tomorrow but yeah needing to change not changing death also just by the way is a scorpio card and there is a scorpio waiting in the wings to take over accede to the throne prince charles um prince charles in reverse here yeah, this is a very much a secondary energy of this card and perhaps um, trying to do some appeasing there and give back in good graces uh, for what is to come and uh, i don't want to say more than that on this topic right now let's have a look at what their challenge is death in reverse is enough of a challenge really um, not getting anywhere and not making the progress they wanted but what is their challenge right now the hermit that's the prince harry card the hermit uh solitude in a work it says um there has been a seemingly a dismal lack of inner work at least in Meghan markle's case prince harry is very loud about all the inner work that he has done and the healing and the inner journeys he's gone on and looking for his path and soul searching and all that stuff that the hermit represents um, showing the way showing the light but uh, they fa have failed dismally to find a path that is their challenge they have not succeeded in finding a path and this is why we have the ace of wands as the underlying energy and the death card in reverse as the situation that the Harkles find themselves in stuck haven't done enough in inner work haven't found the right path and it is of course the hermit is the Virgo card is Prince Harry he is the challenge he is the one who is lost I've seen that in readings I've done um, consistently uh, recently um, that he is lost he is confused he doesn't know which way to turn he doesn't know where his future lies does it lie in the US does it lie back in the UK does it lie with Megan seemingly for the time being but itchy feet there knowing that this is not the most positive relationship but it's uh, tied to each other uh, he's made a right mess of things he knows it and uh, so a lot in that card major arcana coming out at the center of this reading with the death card and the hermit card uh, problems problems in terms of not being wise not um, making the necessary cuts and changes and letting goes that people need to make and uh, not finding the right advice also the hermit is about expert advice not listening to the right people have listened to megan's pr um, in the us they have it seemingly allegedly let's throw one of those in advised the harcourts very badly from the get-go promised them all kinds of success in the US that never happened didn't understand what being a royal meant didn't understand the British temperament and what was expected of royals got it all horribly wrong so let's see hidden energy in this reading what is behind the scenes what is their real motive for doing this is it to uh, steal some thunder from Prince William is it because they broke is it because Netflix is saying hey I need money wow king of cups that's William um, that is William uh, interesting uh, because it was announced of course 
uh, in the in the lead up to this Harkle announcement a few days before Prince William would be going to New York to prepare for the um, Earthshot Awards that are being held in December, talking to Michael Bloomberg, who's very involved in Earthshot, possibly addressing the General Assembly at the United Nations. Oh yes, this is about Prince William. Absolutely about Prince William. This is the seething resentment that's going on to underneath. He's going to be getting all this attention in September. We need some attention too. Um, he is going to be addressing the General Assembly. Harry made a big um, whatever, let's not be rude, on this channel of his speech. He didn't really mess his speech up. The speech writer messed the speech up and the PR people messed the event up. Didn't realise that the um, United Nations was on recess and nobody would be there. Sorry about the dog shouting outside. He's very loud this evening. We have been singing and when we sing, the dog who is deaf gets very loud. It's very interesting that he can actually hear us. So um, focus for the Harkles. What is the focus? Is it getting footage for Netflix? Is it trying to claw back some um, popularity? And we get the two of pentacles in reverse. Ooh. Uh, it's my merching card when it comes to the Harkles. First of all, traditional tarot, Two of Pentacles is about balance, is about um, finding your equilibrium, is about priorities, uh, choosing where to put your effort and your money and all the rest of that so that you can juggle things and maintain your equilibrium. In the reverse, things being out of balance, things being uneven, unequal, being overwhelmed, um, and making wrong choices, prioritizing the wrong things. That's in traditional tarot what the Two of Pentacles in reverse means. But for me, more and more, as I always say when I see this card now, it has come to mean my merching card in these royal readings. Merching. They need money. They need an opportunity. Megan needs to get out there. She had some deal left over allegedly from the Jubilee that she didn't get to wear. Uh, she was wearing autumnal clothes. We are now heading into autumn, although people in the UK might beg to differ given the heat wave that's been going on. I see storms have finally come to give you some relief, but floods also and mudslides and terrible things. Thinking of you, I'm thinking of all of you who are in climate extremes at the moment. I know there's terrible drought going on in many parts of the world and heat waves including in my own country and terrible floods and things going on in other parts of the world we're living on a bit of a crazy planet at the moment an angry planet two of pentacles in reverse uh, they haven't had enough opportunity to merge to make money to get paid for things um, appearance fees um, apparently quite a lot of money can be handed over to keynote speakers and things like that including at this one young world um, a, a session summit I am repeating gossip and rumor I'm not stating that this is truth this is speculation um, so that seems to be their focus what their mind is on uh, what's been happening in the past? We know things seem to have been going badly wrong in the US for them. Tell us about the past. Two of Wands, this is plans, this is joint ventures, this is deals with people like Netflix, Spotify, Penguin Random House, all the rest of them, Chimpo type of deals with Better Up. They've made all these deals with people, partnerships. Uh, that they have entered into and they now have to deliver. They haven't necessarily delivered very successfully, which is why we have the death card in reverse and the hermit card as the center, the heart of this reading. But those deals are still in place and those deals are still in play and some content is required, some form of... Um, uh, they need to deliver something. They need to hand over the goods now. They've allegedly been paid quite handsomely by various of their partners and now they need to deliver. So uh, that is all that strategizing and planning and um, uh, collaborating with people to get these deals. And these people are now waiting to see what they are going to get in return. The next card, the future energy, what lies ahead for the Harkles. That's the past, the future coming up energy in this Celtic cross is um, 
How are they going to be received? I have specifically asked that question. I do with these Celtic crosses. I do tweak them just a little bit for my purposes. I write them down. I think about them. The universe knows what I'm asking. And the question is, how are they going to be received in the UK? Are they going to stack the seats full of adoring worshippers? Sussex squad busily buying seats to these events? Or are they going to be booze? What's going to happen? And we get the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. And it's not going to work. Eight of Pentacles is the work card. Uh, being very su successful, very productive. You can see the little bees and the beehive and busy, busy, busy um, collecting that honey, putting effort in and getting paid for it handsomely. So uh, it's not going to convince people. Whatever effort they've put in, it's not going to persuade people that they are useful members of the royal family and people that they want to have around. I'm not seeing booing with that. Not at all. I'm just seeing that all this effort that's gone into it isn't going to produce the desired result. Um, it might be a bit of stinging, in fact, because we have this uh, lady dressed in her beekeeper outfit. And when it's upright, she's protected from those stings. When it's in reverse, maybe getting stung a little, maybe a little bit of humiliation in there. Uh, that is not what I normally would read from an Ace of Pentacles in reverse, but I'm reading the illustrations on this card. And that's why I use these different decks, just by the way, in case you're wondering, not just because they're pretty um, or dramatic or anything like that. They give different stories. And um, I find this quite an interesting story that there might be a little bit of risk of stinging and um, critical um, coverage of the Harkles while they are in the UK. People not buying it, people are literally not convinced by them, thinking that they are work shy. Eight of Pentacles upright, you work very hard when it's in reverse, you're lazy. Thinking that they are lazy good for nothings who are, are just rolling in for um, spite, possibly. One-upmanship there, King of Cups. Uh, to merge, possibly. Business deals with Netflix, possibly. People are going to see through it and people are going to be talking about it. And bees, of course, buzzing is gossip and Twitter and Instagram and all those places, the chat rooms where people congregate and discuss the Harkles and gossip about them. Busy, 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 busy. Going to be buzzing around them. And uh, just by the way, we did once see poor old Prince Harry get stung by a bee giving a speech. And uh, Meghan laughed. And uh, perhaps we're going to get us some kind of a repeat of that situation or an echo of it. Watch out for it. If it happens, that would be quite interesting. Um, now, individually, and again, as I say, I tweak these Celtic cr cross um, spreads for my purposes for these royal readings. Harry, Harry, how is Harry going to, how, how is he feeling? How is he going to do on this trip? What's, uh, what's he feeling like? Six of Swords is the travel card. Uh, moving on, it says, um, and exploring. Uh, but moving on from from difficulty normally is the Six of Swords, the traditional um, energy of the Six of Swords uh, traveling overseas. Um, so he is traveling overseas from what is now his home back to the US, UK. Sorry. Um, but leaving his cares behind him and his struggles, he feels that the um, the UK, I need to get my um, abbreviations right, um, the UK is his safe haven. He's leaving his troubles behind in the US actually to come back to the UK. That despite everything and despite the booing and the family feuds and all the rest of it, the UK is a place where he feels he is sailing into calmer waters and he is protected and probably even will have some form of protection security organized for him, whether organized by these charities or organized by the Home Office. Um, I have seen in readings on the security saga that he is going to get some sort of token. And I think that this is partly um, that he feels that he is going to be protected. He's going to be safer in the UK than he is in the US and that he has been in the UK. Um, so that's quite interesting. So for him, this isn't a terrible thing. This is actually journeying to a safe haven. How does Megan feel? Let's uh, get him out of the way. How does Megan feel about this trip? She who allegedly never wanted to set foot in the UK again. This is a failure for her, a spectacular failure. The star in reverse. 
a major arcana. This is, I thought I was going to be a huge big star in America. I thought I was going to be president. I see that. Uh, it reminds me of the Oval Office on the rug or carpet or whatever it is on the floor of the Oval Office. Um, she thought she was going to be there by now. She thought she was a shoe in um, she was going to be starring in all the uh, lead roles in Hollywood movies, George Clooney, everyone else was going to be casting her. Um, nothing has happened. She has failed dismally. She has been apparently, allegedly, blacklisted by Hollywood, uh, the, big, the big names in Hollywood, the influential people in Hollywood. People like Anna Winter have also allegedly uh, done with her. The Obamas have... Uh, they are done with her as well. She has failed in the US. This isn't about Prince Harry failing in the US. This is about Meghan failing in the US. And the star when it is in the reverse is a card of depression, a card of despair, of losing your way. We've got uh, the Hermit as the challenge in this reading of finding their true path. They haven't been able to find their true path. And now we have it directly with Megan that she has taken bad advice. She has gone astray. She has not found her true path. She was so intent on being a star at whatever cost that she actually forgot that she needed to have some substance to her before she could just be a still a star. You can't just buy celebrity. You actually have something, have to have something to offer. Very interesting card. Very interesting. So their hopes and fears with this jaunt back to the UK. Hopes and fears. I we get the magician in reverse. They're very worried that they are not going to be able to manifest what they need. Um, it's skill, action, it says here, yeah, but the magician is so much more than skill and action and power. Not really even power, that's the emperor. Um, the magician is manifesting. Uh, the magician is your energy, your, your, your tricks, your bag of tricks, um, your ability to make stuff happen. And the card is in the reverse. We've got some very big cards in the reverse in this reading or as challenges. Um, the magician is PR, is the people behind the scenes who make things happen for you. They are worried that when they show up at these events, the booing masses, the booing and hissing masses might actually be there waiting for them. Um, that they're not going to be able to pull the wool over our eyes and pretend that this is all so magnificent and they're so adored in the UK. Um, they're not going to be able to pull the wool over Netflix's eyes either because Netflix is waiting here in the past energy, the deals that they have made. They are worried that they are not going to be able to manifest, that they are not going to be able to create the right content for these people, the right image. Magician is about image and how you appear and how you are presented and how you manipulate uh, the energy so that you manipulate uh, people's opinions of you and impressions of you and they are worried that they have lost that ability to influence us and they are worried and rightly so because they have lost their ability to influence the vast majority of people. So the outcome, and the outcome that I'm particularly interested in looking at, although universe of course can just tell me whatever it wants to tell me, but is this the start of slithering back to the UK as that half in half out thing that they tried so hard to get and the Queen said absolutely not? Uh, are, are we heading that way? What is going to be the ultimate outcome of this? The Wheel of Fortune, wow, in reverse if you are listening and not watching. The Wheel of Fortune has come out in reverse. This is a massive card. Uh, it's not going to go their way. Uh, luck is turning against them. This is bad luck, misfortune, bad timing. They're timing this badly. Um, everyone pointed out immediately when this news was released, the dates that they have picked uh, to come back to the UK or go back, I'm not in the UK, uh, go back to the UK is precisely when the new Prime Minister is going to be announced. And the Queen will have to travel down from Balmoral Castle to meet the new Prime Minister and uh, form and they will have to form a new government. So the newspapers are going to be full of that. 
Uh, also, exactly the time when, allegedly, the Cambridge children are going to be starting their new schools. We're going to be seeing pictures of them, especially little Prince Louis, who's going to be going to big school. Well, not big school, but you know what I mean. Um, little, uh, in his little, little shorts and his little backpack. We're going to be seeing pictures of that. Prince William, of course, in the US at some stage, I'm not sure exactly when. It's all going against the Harkles and it's going to keep going against the Harkles. They were right to be worried with this magician card in reverse because they are not going um, to be able to turn the tide here with the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. If they thought that they were going to sneak their way back into the good graces of Prince Charles, so we got that death card, the Scorpio card, no. He's not going to fall for it. He's not going to be persuaded. He's not going to say, don't worry, darlings. Um, I know that you're broke and I know that you're loathed in America as much as you are in the UK, but you can come back and you can be royals again and I'll hand over a new tiara and all the rest of it. Uh, no, no. Uh, it's going to go very badly for them. Ultimately, this uh, you could read this as a big mistake with the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. This is not uh, a sensible thing to be doing right now. It's not going to help their cause. And we saw the Hermit card, which is the challenge, which is bad advice, one of its many meanings. It looks like they're listening to the wrong people and they are going to be seen and judged as being lazy, as not contributing to the royals at all, not contributing to Britain in any positive way at all, and ultimately, uh, very, very bad prospects for them. Very, very bad. I'm not shedding a tear here. I'm just reading the cards, uh, telling you what the cards are telling me. That is your reading for today. Thank you for watching. I'll see you again tomorrow.